Hello! We are going to learn a very basic skill today, which is how to clean your did you do properly. And though it seems like a very uh, straightforward common sense thing, you need to stick something inside and, and clean the inside, it is maybe not as uh, intuitive. Some things are not as intuitive. Like for example, in the step one, and we will have several steps of cleaning, step one is like the most obvious thing that hasn't occurred to me in like 10 years of playing and it was revealed to me by uh, Greg from the Jiridu Passion shop. If you don't know, the Jiridu Passion is like the biggest uh, the Jiridu shop in Europe, maybe even in the world and Greg is a very cool guy who runs it. So what Greg said is that what you should do after every practice and this is like a golden rule that I have, you take uh, something like a paper towel and you just stick your finger and you put it inside and you just clean this first part. This will take care of, now it's relatively clean because I cleaned it before the video of course. No, I didn't. Um, this is very very um, important because everything that ends up here and is not being cleaned will be transposed here you know and then here and up to here here and in the end you will have this um, thing showing at your bell end, uh, which is what you can see sometimes. You don't have to use a paper towel, you can use a toilet paper, uh, you can use a handkerchief, just you know, um, finger deep and finger deep inside the borderline and just rub it uh, up and down, left and right. Do it every time, and uh, a need to clean, uh, you know, to have big cleans will be way less. Okay, so this is what you need to do just after the playing because your saliva and all the vapor from the breath has um, softened all the inside that you want to take out. Maybe we know, maybe we make the zero step. Uh, that would be like wash your mouth before playing. You don't have to brush your teeth just if you've been eating hazelnuts you know, there will be parts of hazelnuts inside your mouth and they will inevitably, uh, you know, end inside the ditch and they will also uh, distract you while playing. Okay, so that is step zero. Step one would be just uh, to clean after each playing uh, finger deep. Um, that will take care of 90% of cleaning or even more. However, um, every now and then, which I will not define because you will think that's too, too rare, you know, too seldom, uh, you need to take a stick, uh, it's best to take a broomstick and a sanding paper and just manually get it to this uh, size like I did and you put the handkerchief around it or some other piece of cloth and you just uh, shove it deeper like 30 centimeters or so. Um, for all you losers that use imperial system that is around a foot deep. And again you have to do it after playing, you know, because if you don't do it after playing everything here is crusty and that won't be taken off by this simple device. You have to, you know, attack it when it's weak, when it's a uh, oozy, floppy thing that is hanging from the ceiling here, you know. You say hello to the spider who lives inside and you just do this again after playing, straight after playing. So that would be step two. If you do step two, um, like once a month or something like that, you almost won't have the need to do the step three. But of course you have to do the step three because that would be very irresponsible for you not to do the step three. But for step three, we have to go either to the bathroom or outside. What would you prefer? To the outside bathroom, of course. So, so the third step is the most messy one. So this is why you should perform it in bathroom or um, outside. I prefer to perform it outside because our bathroom is small and I'm usually a very messy guy. So for this, you will need two containers with magic. One is warm water or warm water with soap, mild soap. 
and the other is just my, uh, warm water. All right, so this step is, and you will need a bottle brush. And this step is for those who have left, you know, their particles of, uh, from the mouth uh, form their new life forms and new civilizations inside their digits, you know, so all the crustaceans and everything are inside and you can just put a little bit of paper here and uh, get it sorted, you might get bitten actually. So what you need to do is this weapon, a bottle brush. If you don't have it, you can use toothbrush, but this is better. And you dip it in the warm water and you scrub it like this. And then you take more water and you do it again and again. You need to give it some time because uh, all the things inside that have you know that have this crust have to melt and soften and only then you can take them out so this process of you dipping into warm water and soap if you want it is not necessary but sometimes it helps it's if it's a bad situation uh, you know this has to take time all that time you you could have saved if you just cleaned it every time after playing so but you didn't so you're here and you're doing this for two three hours so after, you know, you're done, mentally and physically, you can't rub it inside anymore. You take another container, it can be a, just a bottle or a tea pot or whatever, with warm water. You don't have to go this extreme. And you clean the inside of the ditch through the mouthpiece like this. And since I'm outside, I can just uh, let it uh, go to the ground. But if you're inside, you would probably want to do uh, to put some container and then, you know, uh, you take this container and um, bucket or whatever you 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 uh, deliver it to a faculty of biology and you will get probably a Nobel Prize for, you know, discovering 100 new species on Earth. Um, and, and that's about it. And there is a big warning here. So this is an old age which has covered with epoxy. Epoxy will take pretty much anything. Uh, don't clean digits with um, different cleaning agents because they can um, compromise or even destroy the finish inside. Okay, so for example, the polyurethane will not stand certain alcohols very well. So don't use alcohol. Um, don't use um, tea tree oil, you know, it, it is very aggressive and some finishes might be able to take it and some might not. And a, even bigger than disclaimer than that, I don't know, or similarly sized disclaimer is that if you have a yadaki or some other dish which is um, untreated inside or very mildly treated, you know, it, it received one layer of oil 100 years ago, then it might not be the best idea to pour a lot of water inside, especially if it hasn't been played for a long time. So what I would do is that with these dishes, I would try to clean them as often as possible just after playing. But if I haven't done that, I would probably put a stronger playing regime, like building up from five minutes till five hours of playing. It can be a bit less. Uh, so once you see that the ditch has received enough of stress from the saliva and the vapor from breath, then it's probably ready to uh, receive more water inside. Otherwise the ditch might crack. I don't know if there is anything else I forgot, but probably I have. Uh, so if you have questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, um, spiral out and keep digging.